We all know that mining is one of the most used life skill for either upgrading your desired equipment, to refining, or even just making a quick buck on the exchange center. And given how important it is to our daily routine, we are here to find out if you are getting the most out of your mining needs. All information in this video are solely based on my own experiences gathering data for multiple days with multiple attempts to get as accurate as possible. But my data could be slightly different from yours because RNG is still part of the equation. Let's lay down the coverage of this video. We'll be talking about the mining to stamina ratio to check the efficiency rate of our mining. The coverage of the locations, by the way, will only be from level 4 to level 6 as most people are at that location at the moment. And we'll be comparing each level to see where to spend your limited stamina depending on what you need. For this test, our tool of choice will be an advanced pickaxe and stamina used per session will be 1,800. I'll also be dividing the ores to different categories to simplify the values. We'll be dividing it into refinement ores, upgrade ores, tier ores, enchantment ores, and situational ores. The level 4 mining area adds 4 new ores with level 2 rough iridicons, aluniums, and radiums. The game also adds a blessed ore into the mix protecting you from the dreaded equipment break. 4 sessions have been spent on this level, let's check out what we found out. With the refinement ores data, we can clearly see that we are getting a lot of returns from the introduced level 2 ores with the level 1 ores not that far behind. There are certain similarities with each ore type but this is where the RNG equation comes into play. The upgrade ore data shows us that both ore types are averaging around the same amount. Depending on what you need, you can either synthesize or dismantle these ores. The tier up ore data shows a decent amount of ores. It does provide a generous amount of coal, but as for the others, not too much. So it may take a while before you can tier up any equipment with these returns. The enchantment ores are the same as the upgrade ores in terms of averaging from one another. If you've fought your way through the game's competitive PvP with a surprise math question, then you'll probably appreciate these great ore returns. These situational ores provide a decent return. Though often ignored by many, it can be useful to some. So if you're looking to protect your blue equipment from breakage or looking to upgrade that blue equip to the next tier up, then these returns are not all that great, sadly. The ores came out a total average ratio of 579.50 is to 1,800 stamina. This gives us an efficiency rate of 96.58% and 3.42% where we didn't get any ores. If I can describe the level 5 mining area in one word, it would be stacked. It doesn't just add a few ores like the previous level, it adds almost everything else which affects the RNG factor quite a considerable amount. With 3 sessions spent on this level, let's check what we found out. Starting with the refinement ores once again, seeing a huge decrease on the level 1 department for all ores and slightly the same amount of level 2 ores from the previous level. The same could be said with the upgrade ores. The level 1 ore has decreased a significant amount, while the level 2 ore is somewhat providing the same amount as the previous level. The wild card here is the introduction of the level 3 upgrade ore which you can dismantle to whatever upgrade ore you would need. A huge bump on the average for the tier ores as the level 5 area unlocked level 2 ores for iron, silver, gold, and coal. Which is perfect if you're looking to tier up an equipment or if you're running low on coal ores. 
Overall, the best result so far for the tier wars. Also almost identical to its upgrade counterpart, the Enchantment Wars lost a significant amount on the level 1 ores, maintained the same level 2 ore from the previous level, and introduced the level 3 ores which can also be dismantled depending on which enchantment ore you need. The situational ores also had a huge bump due to the introduction of the level 2 jewel stones. If you're running low and you need to craft or upgrade your blue equips, then this area would give you a generous amount of jewel stones. The ores came out a total average ratio of 573.55 is to 1800 stamina. This gives us an efficiency rate of 95.59% and a 4.41% where there were no ores mined. The level 6 mining area does not add any new ores to the pool, but what does this level do? With 3 sessions spent on this level, let's check out what we found out. Starting once again with the refinement ores, we're seeing another decrease in the number of level 1 ores and the level 2 ores maintaining almost the same average as the previous levels. This doesn't look good if you're farming for refinement ores. The upgrade ores in this level is quite intriguing as we see a huge increase in percentage with the level 3 ore and a significant decrease on the level 2 ore, while surprisingly maintain the level 1 ore count. This is quite the increase on the level 3 ore given the majority of the players in this area use level 1 to level 2 ores for their upgrades. But regardless, this will be a field day for people who enjoy dismantling their ores or for people who are already using the level 3 upgrade ores. Now for the tier up ores, there is a trend going on here. Having a huge decrease in the level 1 ore department and maintaining right around the same amount of level 2 ores from the previous level. The enchantment ores once again being in sync with the upgrade ores having significant decreases on the level 1 and 2 ores while bumping up a huge average on the level 3 ores. And finally, the situational ores are also with the trend seeing a decrease on the level 1 ores and slightly increasing the level 2 ore count. The ores came out a total average ratio of 575.66 is to 1800 stamina. This gives us an efficiency rate of 95.94% and 4.06% where there were no ores mined. Now that we have all three datas gathered, we can start comparing these levels together. We'll still compare them per category for the simplicity of things. We'll start again with the refinement ores. One glance at the table shows you that you get the most value at level 4. Having a great amount of level 1 ores that you can synthesize if you need level 2 ores, or dismantling level 2 ores for level 1s. Either way, it all depends on what you need. The level 5 and level 6 values don't differ too much from each other and it doesn't have that much value for refining materials. Overall, the level 4 mining area seems to come out on top for this category. Upgrade ores are the majority of what you get regardless of what level you mine. Looking at the values, you see how each level increases the number of higher level ores compared to the lower ones. This isn't as situational as the others as this type of ore is very straightforward due to the synthesize and dismantle options. I've made another table that shows the total upgrade ores you can get for each level if you synthesize or dismantle the other upgrade ores you get. And the level 6 area, hands down, is the best place for you to get your upgrade materials. The tier up ores are in a tricky spot in terms of farming, as there is a huge requirement in order for you to tier up your equipments into one level. 
and sadly all these levels are not that great with their ore to stamina ratio. But if we are to choose the best one amongst these levels, level 5 is the way to go having a great average for both level 1 and level 2 ores. Enchantment Wars is a close second from the upgrade wars with the amount that you can get per session regardless of the level. It is as straightforward as the upgrade wars in terms of usage. It all depends on which level of enchantments you're looking to get. Here's another table showcasing what you can get for each level if you synthesize or dismantle the other enchantment wars that you get. And the same result as the upgrade wars, level 6 is the best area to get your enchantment materials. And finally, we have the situational ores. These ores have the same increase and decrease as the refinement ores and the tier up ores, decreasing the level 1 ores and increasing the level 2 ores with each mining level. With synthesizing and dismantling being your best bet depending on what you need from the jewel stones. That being said, the level 5 area is showing the best ore to stamina ratio versus the other levels. Go for this level if you're looking for these types of wars. We could definitely say that one mining level isn't better than the others as a whole. Each level having their own advantages and solely depending on what you're looking to farm with your stamina. Honestly, I wish I did this earlier as I've always had the notion that the higher the level, the better the drops, which doesn't apply to this game's mining feature at all. We can see this with the refinement materials having the best returns at level 4, while the tier up and situational ores have the best returns at level 5. Though the higher the level is indeed better if you're looking to upgrade or enchant ores, as level 6 is the best one for you to farm these ores. Now I could see a question that will eventually be asked, and that would be, will this apply to other levels besides 4 to 6? I could say with confidence that this closely resembles my very own experience from level 1 to 3. With level 1 providing us with a small amount of ores, then level 2 adding the tier up ores to mess up the RNG, and the level 3 adding the level 2 upgrade and enchantment ores while decreasing the number of lower level ores, further messing the RNG. Sounds familiar, right? I just don't have the data to prove it because trying to test this out in these areas will just be a waste of stamina due to the type of wars that I could possibly get there. And I haven't unlocked any of the higher levels but looking at the same trend it could have the same effect as well. Once I reach those levels I'll make sure to make an updated video about it. Overall these levels can give you what you specifically need. You just have to choose the best one to maximize the already limited stamina this game provides us daily. Hopefully I was able to help you choose which area to mine and spend your stamina moving forward. I would really appreciate if you can give it a thumbs up and also share this video to others for everyone else to be informed. If you had a different experience from what I've shown here, me and everyone else would appreciate if you could share those experiences in the comments section below. If you have questions in some areas that I discussed, please ask away in the comment section below. I'll try to answer all of the questions as much as I can. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.